Things are set to go from bad to worse for Emmerdale's Priya Sharma this week. After suffering life-changing burns in the maze fire and undergoing two skin grafts, Priya has been left struggling with the scars, both physically and emotionally. Help! Try and move if I were you. Help me take off these dresses. I need to know how bad it really is. <laughs> you will get better. They're just words, and I don't believe them. I've got an eating disorder, so. Even before all this, I hated the way I look. How am I supposed to accept my scars when I can't even accept myself? So, well, Emma Dell's Vienna Wade, who plays Priya Sharma, joins us now. And it's lovely to see you. Thanks oh, for being thank here you today. For so, having me. This is, I, this is a huge storyline. And I think you got the call from the producers back in spring to say what they had in mind for the character. And hugely exciting for an actress to, to do this, but also a huge weight of responsibility with this one. Yes, absolutely. When I got the call from the producers, um, obviously, I always say this, but as an actor, you know, when you get a call about a big storyline, it's always so wonderful and you think great something to get my teeth into and then afterwards you know the anxiety sets in of oh my goodness you know the responsibility that you mm -hmm. hold with something like this because you are portraying real people's lives mm -hmm. and um situations that people are actually going through so um yeah it's heavy i always think it's um that we're very lucky with our continuing dramas no matter which one it is that they, 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 they tackle stories like this and do them so well and so carefully and so inspirationally for other people. Um, but it's taken very seriously. You took it seriously and, and the producers took it seriously. Absolutely, yes. We um, have been working with a wonderful charity called Changing Faces, mm -hmm. who supports anybody with a visible difference. Um, so we had lots of initial chats with them all together on Zoom and they just talked us through everything we needed to know. And also working with um, a wonderful um, burn survivor, um, Katrin Pugh, mm -hmm. who's an incredible person. And she's been my mentor really through all of this. So I owe a lot of this to her. Um, so we initially had our chats with the producers and the writers. And I was thinking about how do I as an actor really try and get my head into really understanding what somebody that has been through something like this really feels like. Um, so I asked whether I could have a chat with Katrin, just me and her, to talk about, because I thought, how can I do this? Because it's not a relatable thing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but I could work from a, an emotional side and try and understand that journey, the, her emotional journey. And she's so incredible and open and was willing to kind of just talk me through her process, really. Mm -hmm. So um, I owe it to her and obviously the Emmerdale writers and everyone at Emmerdale that's just been so incredible at getting this so right. So it's important. So obviously there's the emotional scars of going through something like this. There's also the, the physical scars themselves. And there's the moment that's coming up where Priya looks at her scars for the very first time and you wanted that moment to be as realistic as possible. Yes, so it takes about two hours in makeup and um, the makeup ladies in Emmerdale are fantastic. They're incredible. So I had two hours of sitting um, in, in my dressing room and I was like, I just don't want to look at them until I take the bandages off. I just wanted to, for it to feel as real, if you could say that, as possible. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's very difficult because you have to do sort of rehearsals and they're asking you to sort of, you know, move in different positions. So it's very difficult. So I saw a little bit of it, but actually the actual reveal, yeah, it was sort of the first time. And I, I just wanted to try and be in that position as much mm. as I could, yeah. really. The thing yeah. with, uh, with Priya, she, I mean, she has her own body image issues yeah. anyway um, and, and uh, eating issues. And as well as it affecting there, something like this has this ripple effect throughout a whole family, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. And one of the things Katrin sort of talked me through was how, you know, it was the stages of grief that she went through, mm. um, which really helped me as an actor um, throughout the storyline. But it's, you know, the, at the beginning, you're angry. You know, you, you just, your whole life has been turned upside down. And for Priya as well, with her body 
you know, issues that she has, she just feels like her life has ended. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want help from her family, so she's pushing everyone away. And it does, it doesn't just affect you, you know, it affects everyone around you who love you and want to help you and don't quite know how to be there for yeah. you. Yeah. You've been very open talking about your own anxiety issues that you've had. I think this started at school around the time of your GCSEs and you said that actually living with that has helped you relate to Priya. And yes, absolutely. Because um, obviously Priya's had her eating disorders and so there's lots of things I can pull from my own experience, you know, having anxiety. I've lived with it for forever. Mm -hmm. um, but. Thankfully, these days, everyone sort of talks about it openly, don't they? Which is so important. And then you, you, might, you might be feeling anxious one day and you talk to someone, they're like, gosh, I'm feeling anxious. And you think, oh, it's not just me, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's much easier. And it was, it was much easier to pull my own experiences and put that into to a lot of this storyline and the eating disorder for Priya, so. Yeah. It's, um, as you say, all of the, those challenges uh, as an actor, an amazing thing to do. Um, and Emmerdale's really... Changed your life, really, didn't it, when it came along? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, I'd been working as an actor for a lot of years before I got Emma Dell, but it came at the right time, and we all want that big break. And to be a part of such an incredible show, and, yeah, it's changed my life, and so much, you know, I've learned so much being on a soap. You really do learn so much. Um, and I've done theatre before and different dramas, but I think a soap really does... Um, Put you through it. You've got to learn, so, learn the quickly. amount of stuff. Very do. quickly, yeah. the amount you have to um, learn. Such a short time, especially recently since COVID, everything's changing all the time. Scripts and. But when you're I in feel... the theatre, you have learned something, and it's got to stay in your head. Like yes. that's got to stay in your head. It's a different but... process. Like so, when you're doing theatre, you have to retain something, and then you just repeat that. In a soap, I'll learn something, and I'll do a scene, and if you ask me. An hour later, what scene I did, I've forgotten that. Like, mm. literally, as on soon as next. they've said, cut, that's a wrap with that scene, you've, you move on. I've forgotten, yeah, because I'm on to the next, next scene, so. So Christmas is coming. I think last year you just moved into a new house, didn't yeah. you? So yeah. this year you're properly settled. Yes. Yes. And it sounds pretty idyllic. It sounds like your husband is very good at the Christmas decorations. <laughs> He's amazing. You know, since getting married, I have just really loved Christmas again. Um, he, him and his family do Christmas in such a gorgeous, they're very traditional. And he cooks, he makes all the Christmas decorations himself. He's amazing. So he's he, going to be he, so embarrassed now that I've said that. So. He could, well, no, I mean, you were telling us in the break and there's no way he's not getting this all dusted <laughs> out. Um, so, so, well, roasting oranges yes. for the tree? Yeah, he puts them in the oven, he puts them in cinnamon, he puts all our decorations up on the tree. Um, he makes them, he makes the wreath. He cooks. He's amazing. Dinner. He is. This is incredible. He is, and that's why I always talk about him because he is. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> so I'm very thankful. So I think we're getting our tree next week, and it'll be. He can't wait to decorate it. He's he's great. He takes over all of that. So how I have brilliant! To worry. So, it's yeah. um, so lovely to see you. It's so lovely. Um, Thank you. And uh, and well done to you and the yeah. team in, in tackling this. I'm sure you know when she gets into realizing how she has to deal with it, dealing with herself, that, uh, and also that family issues as yes. well, it'll help a lot of people. Thank you, it's a long journey, but yeah. um, we'll see, she'll Thanks. get there. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much. Thank indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, Emmerdale's tonight, seven or 90.